Today we're putting the fun into fun raising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. No way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Beaver Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> Righto, hop on. Oh. Give it up! I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, grease the baking trays. Nash, Nash! Carly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you the Walter Wafer. <laughs> I give you the Menace Mouthful. Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. <laughs> Decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. Uh, there! Oh, oh, first yeah. satisfied customer. <laughs> Let's get back to school and start selling. Our oh, Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. So, cash only, keep the line moving. <laughs> no one can resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come. La, la, la. From the frozen north to the Straits of Gibraltar. It's no snack better than a wafer from Walter. I love oh, that's very good. Yeah, good. Oh, superb. Superb. Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers. Finest cookies in Bean Hotel. Time for Plan C, then. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, come back. Uh, special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says menace mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. <laughs> this is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful? Right. <laughs> Two can play at that game. Hello? Been 
Little Town TV, meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> OK, we need some lipstick, balloons and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. <laughs> Chew. I, I've got your story here. Just upload this video file. <laughs> for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. Mm. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm -hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects. Dizziness. <laughs> Strange squiggles on your face. And finally... If you don't want your head to explode... Buy Benny's Mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis's scared off our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. <laughs> we sold 158. Our Walter sold 154. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, cos I bought a box. They're really nice. It doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the Entertainment Square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shethington Grouse, we waited 57 days, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> I put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow! That really was fast! Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Uh, probably your stomach rumbling, hungry for some Walter wafers. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! <laughs> and here's your prize. Free passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, 
All this fuss over something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 nash. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 n
pitch squelchy underfoot, we kick off with a magic muddy manoeuvre. It's on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasher. <laughs> 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 You're not your old self today, Nasha. Yes, Nash. Hmm. Maybe you just need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. Fish. What is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? Well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. <laughs> it's like he's turning into a C A T. Yeah. A what? A cat pieface. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis! Your hairy hound has been at my flower beds! <laughs> huh? Should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Nash, Nash, Nash! Nash, Nash, Nash! 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 Huh? Reflexes are okay. His eyes are okay. Energy levels are definitely okay. Oh, 
almost lunchtime. Hot dogs, pizza... Mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think that means poison, Pieface. The food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! I've got you now, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Celery soup! Get your cold celery soup! Ugh. Cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface. But one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Take, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. Nasha, Nasha. How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! <laughs> Aha! I have you now. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ant's DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? Oh, I've never seen anything like it. How big are they? Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, <laughs> a giant ant! Oh! Attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunchtime, I think. <laughs> What's what? Oh, no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make it angry. Nash, Nash! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Result! The 
looks like your lunch is sorted, Dasha. <laughs> so, Dennis, what about our lunch? Thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Leah, been twenty years I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Mm, if only I could find something it ate. How about? Your paints. Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> 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 Nasha. And a pie's left, pie face. Um, I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, oh, blueberry for me. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody move. You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Uh oh, Nasha, run! Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! Target, getting away! Quick, Nasha! Out of that costume! <laughs> Nasha! <laughs> Let's go! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! <laughs> I don't understand! How did he find us? It must be the blueberry pies. That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA. That's how it's been tracking us. Pie face. I'm on it. <laughs> and we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? the day off school. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Nash. Oops. Nash. Oh, I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Well, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Mm. Let me guess. Blueberry. <laughs> 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 Beano Town, 
flea market, just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> flea market just means jumble seal, Pyface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> flea market. <laughs> nash, nash. A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We managed the whole market. Not quite. What? I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. <laughs> Walter's watering his flowers. But now my flower is going to water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Menace. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. Mm. Oh, what's in the stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks and overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. So this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jelly nator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and outpranked. <laughs> Got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. Okay, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Good luck, Nasha. Nasha, Nash. Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. Okay. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, d I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? Run! Hello, 
Dennis? Hello, Nasha. Grant, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menacing runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried, or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. Oh. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? Oh, I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Given up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, uh, 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 it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Work team. So what are we going to do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> The summer holidays.
holidays. This is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? Yes. A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for <laughs> fun. Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over 100 hits on my site. Pfft. If I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Dennis, calm down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's men. <laughs> So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop be starting nursery today. Oh, how many's that now? That would be number 12. Go right, go, go. <laughs> B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's <laughs> the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. What's this? New fence. Double strength this time. And I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. You no, know, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> <sighs> yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely heavy sticks. <laughs> Tank enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shed. Russia? How many of these do you reckon you could gnash? Now remember, be good. Yeah, hmm? yeah. It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Ammunition. Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. Nice neat pile. Oh, <laughs> What's what in there? You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you, and I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. <laughs> oh, time for elevenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, no sense of humour, the young. Mm. Oh. Dash, dash, dash. Roo, roo. Mash is back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down! My 
school homework essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh, pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? <coughs> Well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? Ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha? I would like to thank my literary assistants, Bertie and Dudley. I have Don't worry, Walter. I haven't done mine either. week to selecting the best pencil. For, as Shakespeare himself might have put it when selecting his quill, to be or not to be. <laughs> oh, quill me now. Are you all right, Dennis? Dennis! <laughs> Sit down, Walter. You can treat us to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis. Where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> oh. Go 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 Excellent summer project, Dennis. Top of the class. Tension. Oh, no. Aha! Those are my missing timbers. Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, uh, donated by the Colonel? But, but this is an outrage. An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angel Face spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No. No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later, aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Tenshan, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever! <laughs> Come on, class, put some spring in your step. Someone say spring! Just 
PE. You can handle this. Man down! Substitute! <laughs> 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 if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, miss. I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a... Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie doke, Miss Mum. No! <coughs> oh! Did. Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. You can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang. This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get.
get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash. 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 Hmm? A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We were ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <laughs> Nash. He's my teacher's pet, of course. So we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? And <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. <laughs> Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises, don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow, that's my patented two-man pipe pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. I wonder if it still works. It does still work. Fingers on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go, all of you. Dismissed. Oh. You heard him? Gun way! Shame to leave this. That creature's back. Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 